This is a Hog and Dice emergency broadcast. The world is in grip of a global pandemic, but my advice to you is to maintain your composure and listen to your government. Unless you live in the UK, in which case my advice is to eat your government. They're clearly trying to kill you. You may as well get them first. Stay inside as much as possible. Practice good hygiene and please listen to the experts on how to do that rather than internet crackpots like me. Self-isolation and social distancing are necessary, but they're not fun and can seriously damage mental health. There's a lot of ways we can make this easier for each other. Video calls with your friends, especially those who live alone or in difficult homes, can make a huge difference. Putting positive content on social media to provide a break from the virus news will make the world feel at least a little bit less bleak. Post pictures of your friends, share your favorite shows and movies, make art of all kinds. And there's other ways to help. Asian restaurants are being hit hard by misguided and frankly nonsensical attempts to avoid the virus, so please consider them when you order food over the coming weeks. Cultural centres all over the world are suffering from closures, so if you know of a museum or theatre or anything like that that can accept donations, please consider making one. Games, comic and anime conventions are being cancelled all over the world, meaning artists who depend on them for income are left high and dry. All the money they spend on travel and stock is now just gone. Many artists are now offering online sales to try and offset that, and I'm linking a bunch of them in the description of this video. Remember that even if the virus doesn't hurt you much, you can still spread it to the elderly, to young children, or to the immunocompromised, so please keep them in mind. There's a lot of people hoarding hand sanitizer or other necessary supplies to sell them for profit, and my advice if you encounter any of these individuals is to beat them up and distribute the products they've been hoarding. Consider making donations to care homes and hospitals if possible, as they may be running low on supplies. There are already so many artists trying to help solve the cabin fever that comes from self-isolation. The Leprechaun Museum, where I work, is stepping up our podcast to be weekly instead of monthly. There's a movement of musicians, including friend of the channel Kate Nix, who are going to be live streaming frequent home concerts under the hashtag Cabin Fever Cabaret, and I'm going to be joining that in my small way. On Wednesday, the 18th of March at 7.30 p.m., I was already planning on hosting a patrons only live stream of storytelling, in which I was going to unveil my new set and tell some stories I've never told on this channel before. That will no longer be a patrons only live stream, it will be open to everyone. In addition, I will be doing a second storytelling live stream on Thursday, the 19th of March at 8:30 p.m. that will also be open to everyone. Chat will be open on both, so hopefully it can offer some semblance of socializing and you can find it at twitch.tv/hugandice. I may do more over the coming weeks. So keep an eye on my social media if you feel like you need the break. And please, look after yourselves and look after each other. Remain indoors.